The Virginia Tech Hokies. Six and seven last year. First losing season in years. Uh, just I didn't, a I didn't even bad write it loss to Old Dominion. Yeah. Uh, four and four in conference, though. They returned five starters on offense, 11 on defense. They got a lot back on defense. Um, that doesn't mean that they're all going to start this year, but, you know, they, they got a lot of them back. Uh, number 42 in the country in experience returning. Number three in the conference. Their over-under is eight. The over-juice is minus 115. The under is minus 105. Justin, ba- ba- basically even. Basically even, yeah. Justin Fuente, 25 and 15 in three years. Went from 19 wins in the first two years to just six last year, so that's not good. You would hope that you would continue growing. Quarterback Josh Jackson transferred to Maryland, but senior Ryan Willis is back, and he's got receiving threats galore on this. Defensive coordinator Bud Foster announced he is retiring after this season. He had nine freshmen or sophomores starting in the Military Bowl they will be much more experienced this year, and they will be better for all of that experience from last year. Uh, four years in, and they've got no real offensive superstars. That's a little uh, concerning, all right? Uh, they're thin at quarterback and running back. They've got a lot of transfers. What, like, I want to know what's going on with this program, with all the people transferring out, with the, there's just a lot going on here, and it's strange, right? It's so, weird. It, it, it is like strange. Like, you expected things to be a lot more stable. Like, is Bud Foster being forced out? Or, like, because, they, of course, you've heard the rumors that he and Fuente don't get along all that well, whatever. Uh, it was strange, anyway, that he stuck around after Beamer left. But... He wanted what, to keep coaching. I think that's okay. Well, yeah, but uh, he, he could have had a number of other jobs. But Yeah, but that's when it's home forever. I yeah. mean, that's just different. I mean, they, packing up and moving somewhere else at that age when you've done all those things. Yeah. And he's the kind of guy that I recruited these kids. I think he's he's leaving on his own. I think he wanted to retire. But I think I do think that Bud Foster's the kind of man, Frank Beamer's this kind of guy too, which is why I think it was so hard for him to eventually retire and hang it up. But he's leaving now. All the kids that he recruited and he brought in under him and Frank, this is their senior year. This is it. He's going out with those seniors. I think that's a little bit of a special thing. I want it so bad to get them to 10 wins. I want it so bad. I, I didn't do it. I didn't do it. But yeah. I I wanted that because I think defensively they could find something special. I, I think... I think these. I think their players are going to play. And okay, so they're going to be inexperienced at quarterback. But that doesn't scare me with Justin. Coach Fuente can coach quarterback. He can coach offense. He's going to yeah. figure this thing out. They're going to well, put Ryan, up points. Ryan Willis played uh, in every game after the Old Dominion game last year. Yeah. Like it's. Yeah. They were able to put up some points. Nothing. Nothing about. Nothing about the quarterback position scares me at all with with Fuente at the helm. It's just one of those things where I just trust him. They're going to be fine. Um, they might not get along, but they're going. If things start rolling their way, I think I think the majority of the drama is probably behind them. I think so. I think that's that's the good thing, right? I'll tell you this: if they go undefeated all the way up until, and this is not, I mean, this is this is tough beating Boston College at Boston College open season, getting through Duke. If they get to Miami, and they can win that Miami game, I think you're going to see um, a little a little more cohesion. You're, now they're on the map. Now well, yeah, everybody's, it, nobody's it, looking at them. The four games before that, like at well, Boston yeah. College. Oh, they definitely made sure we're not losing a non-conference game. Yeah. We're, we're do- you you want a safe bet? Old Dominion. I don't know what the spread is. Just just buy tech. Buy yeah. tech by a million. They're not losing that game again. No, you're right. I, I I think there's something special. I've got them nine and three. I think Bud Foster is not gonna quit on this team. You see what that record says. Nine and three. Nine and three. I, I got want it. I want it ten. Thing. I want it ten and two. If they win at Miami, uh, all bets are off at that point. I think. I think they have. They, and if they're undefeated going to Miami, do you have them with, beating Boston College? Yeah, I got them. I got them beating Boston College. So what what three them, losses you got? I've got, you got the Virginia uh, game. That's I've got at Miami. Okay. I've got at Notre Dame, and I've got at Virginia. Okay. So, so I so I I have them beating Virginia because I just don't think Bud Foster is going to lose his last game. I just think that defense is going to be special. It's it's on the road. Virginia hasn't beaten them in forever, and I'm going against my my normal thing, which is if you haven't beaten them in forever, you got to show me first before I can pick you. 
But in this nah, case, that, that, that's that stuff I never care about because this team is so much different than every year. The teams just are are so much are different. different. None, yeah. of, none of that other crap matters. No, I'm, I'm with you. Well, it's like Florida last year. I didn't think Florida State was going to be as bad as they were, and I picked Florida State before the season, thinking that okay, by the end of the season, Willie Taggart's going to have it turned around. They're playing until you know all that kind of mess. Right. So either way, Virginia Tech, we both got them nine and three. Yeah, who you got coming out of this conference? I've got uh, you got Miami. I've got Miami out of this division. So but I've got it, all three it, of those. It wouldn't surprise me if Virginia or Virginia Tech were to come out. I've got all three of those at nine and three, but I have Miami beating both of Virginia and Virginia Tech. I think if one of those two teams pulls off the, of course, if Virginia beats them and then loses to Va Tech, we've got this weird. It's a weird three. Match. And and the other wins are non-conference wins or losses, you know. Well, Notre Dame plays both a lot of them. Yeah. Is what it is. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think I think Miami right now. Ask me after the Florida game. I've got Florida winning, but I mean, we'll see. So it's I, I don't feel super confident about any of this because they are all just put them in a bag, shake them up, whoever pops out, right? Well, yeah, we've got a lot of question marks. So you've got to watch these be teams seen before we can. No, you, yeah, you've got that right. All right, that's gonna wrap up today's show. This is Winning Cures Everything. Go over to winningcureseverything.com to find out more information about us. Hit subscribe on YouTube. Leave us some comments. Tell us what we got wrong, what we got right. We appreciate all of it. You can trash talk if you want to. We're going to bring it right back, so hopefully you don't get offended. Um, <laughs> leave us a nice review on Apple Podcasts. Share out the show. Uh, go to tunicatravel.com. We will see you guys again next time. Thanks for checking out Winning Cures one. Everything. Good. If you want to keep up with us, hit subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. Visit the website at winningcureseverything.com or you can like us on Facebook or follow us at Winning Cures, at Gary WCE, or at Chris B. Giannini on Twitter. Share out the show, leave a nice review, and make sure to comment and tweet at us.